Hey, Coach Greg here at Spell Training, and today we'll be doing a standing core strength builder. That's right. No need to get down on the ground. We're gonna be standing for all these ab exercises. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fast, we're gonna have a great time. So let's get started. If you haven't already, can you just do us a favor and just click that subscribe button? It just really helps us out, knows that you want to continue to see these type of workouts and you know, it just makes, it makes everyone feel good. All right, so for this core builder workout, we are going to be doing three sets. The first set is gonna be me more explaining and demonstrating the exercises while you follow along, while the next two sets are gonna be more of a complete run through of all the exercises. So that way we can just really get our blood pumping, our sweat on and our abs really defined. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get right into that first exercise. All right, we're going to start off with some high knees. Again, I love these type of exercises because it really helps work out your hip flexors all up in here. And when you tighten up your core and your abs and stuff, it really just like helps make everything pop. So all we're doing is exactly what I just did. You're just going to focus on standing straight, feet shoulder width apart. You want a really strong, stable base. And all we're focusing on is alternating between raising one knee up as high as we can go and dropping it and then bringing up that other knee just as much. This also really helps in your balance as well. So having a strong, stable base, having good uh, foundation, stability, all that stuff is usually generated from this section. So all we're doing, like I said, is we're bringing up that knee as high as we can. You're gonna feel it all up in here as well as your hip flexor up in here. But you wanna stand up straight, flex that core, just like that. So let's put 30 seconds on and let's get to it. All right, here we go. Bring that knee up. Try not to like be bent over like this or too far back. Sometimes when you don't really have a good stability, you try to you know, move around to find that bounce, but just be as straight up as you can. And really focus on bringing that knee straight up. Now if you have to hold on to something, feel free. You can do something like this, just like that. So the goal is just to bring that knee up, drive it up. You're gonna feel it, like I said, all up in here. Three, two, and one, great job. Next, we have some lovely trunk twists. This is a good one. It's also standing, so again, no need to get down on the ground. You're just gonna be standing, feet a little past shoulder width apart. Again, strong, stable base. You can either have your hands on your hips or hands out to the side, whatever you prefer, and we are just gonna be focusing on twisting from one side to the other. We're gonna be really feeling it in our obliques, all up in here. Try not to turn your whole body <laughs> as you turn, because that kind of defeats the purpose. We're just trying to get that rotation from our midsection. Um, I also recommend bending your knees a little bit, because again, we don't want to be locked out, because with these rotation, you may feel it a little in here, so we want to be able to compensate for any uh, small movements like that. So just be a little bouncy, as I like to say, with your knees, and as you're turning, See how much of the rotation can come just from your torso or your trunk. <laughs> so do 30 seconds and here we go. All right, turn. There it is, you're gonna feel it, like I said, all up in here. If you want, having your arms out kind of helps guide you, if you will. Let's you know how far you gotta go. Just like that. Make sure you're turning, make sure you're breathing. If you're standing up tall, a couple more. Three, two, and one. Great job. Now let's get to this third exercise. Next, we have some cross body leg lifts. It's almost very similar to the high knee, right? We're lifting your leg, but now it's gonna be a straight leg. Now, when it comes to these, try not to just sometimes, like if you can't get your leg up, we feel the knees like get a whole bunch of momentum and just like throw our leg up like that, but that's how you're gonna get yourself hurt. Don't worry about the height. The goal is your intention um, and uh, just the actual proper form. I think that's way more important than, because if you can only go up here, that's fine. If you can only go here, that's fine. Don't worry about any of that jazz. So all we're doing, standing here, we're gonna take, I like to use my arms as guides. So as I lift uh, one of my legs up, I take the alternating arm and just try to touch it. Just like that. 
I usually like aim for the shin, you can aim for the toes, you can aim for the knee, that's all you can do, it doesn't matter. The goal is really just to be intentional about raising that leg as high as you can while touching. So again, it's kind of like you use your arms as like, as like the guides or like, just like that. So, I mean, obviously if you have your arm up here, you may be able to hit that more, but e e even like this, that's also just as effective. Again, focuses the core, so make sure you are cinching your waist. 30 seconds, here you go, and let's do it. There it is, do it this way. Really pull from your hip flexor, just like that. If you want, you can reach a little further, because as you reach, it's gonna be turned into more of a crunch. Here I can show you, like that. Really bring that leg up, just like that. Got a couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Great job. Last on the docket, we have standing bicycle crunches. This is always a fan favorite. You're just gonna want, again, be standing. Hands behind your head like so, and all we're really trying to do is bring knee to elbow on alternating sides. So as we, it's almost like we're putting everything together. We've been doing high knees, we're doing leg lifts, and now we get to see, with the trunk twist, and now it's like a combination, of accumulation of all of that. So here we go. Bring the knee up and touch it with the elbow, just like so. Really focus on, again, being as tall as you can and then really focusing on that twist and crunching into it. So we got 30 seconds and let's go. There it is. Go at your own pace. Just bring that knee up as high as you can and let your elbow do the rest or vice versa, whichever. One is, if your upper torso is more flexible than your lower, then you know what to do. Just like this. Always stay tall. Around to the side. Just crunch on over. Let's work out that core. Let's build it. Let's go three, two, two, one more, and done. Great job. That was our first set done. Now we are gonna take a couple seconds, grab some water. deep breaths, we're gonna get into our second set. Now that you know all the exercises, we're just going to run right through them. Put some good music for you. Let's get it. Let's have some fun, we have to bounce a little bit. I don't know if your core is tight or burning at the moment, mine is for sure. So just like, stretch out, because here we go. We're gonna start our second set in three, two, one, let's go. High knees. Strong twist.
Bicycle Crunch. All right, there you go. That was your second set done. You did it. Feel good. Ooh, grab some water real quick. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, let's get it. Round three starts now. High knees. Trunk twist. Crossbody leg lifts. Bicycle crunch. All right, there you have it. That was your standing core strength builder. Hope you liked it as much as I did. I'm already out of breath. I hope you are too, and I hope your abs are on fire because that's what we want. We want to strengthen that core, baby. It's what it's all about. Um, if you like these type of videos, just go ahead and click the notification bell to stay on top of any new ones dropping because we have a ton coming for you. I'm Coach Greg, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.